from UK. Hello, from uh, US. I don't have a problem with criticism, with criticism with regard to Muslims. Uh, it's with Islam that you draw a line, true? But when one ignores the human rights violations committed by other people of, of faith or freedom, then we have a problem. Um, I agree. And when Christians start hijacking planes, shouting, Jesus is great, before crashing them into buildings, I'll be raising my voice against Christianity, looking for where in the Bible that would give them such an evil way to treat non-Christians as well. Mr. Condell, Mr. Pat Condell, not, he only looks at Muslims wrong. He looks at, he looks at Muslim wrongs. He looks at, yeah. In what way did he look at them wrong? At, 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 in what way did he look at Muslim wrongs? Uh, which possibly is a wrong in itself? P possibly? You mean there is some doubt that he is looking at Muslim wrongs? The Quran commands that believers be just to all, regardless of race and religion. Except... In Quran 9, 1 through 5 and uh, 9, 29, I, I see. And the teachers not to kill indiscriminately, etc., etc. Right. In one place it says um, not to kill women and children or the old. Other verses pertaining to killing in the name of God or jihad actually have a context. But, but no clear footnotes for context to tell the would-be jihadi. I mean, if you read Surah 9, 135, and 9, verse 29, it doesn't say, hey, look, this is only history and can't possibly apply today. So, you 45 British Islamic medical doctors, you are wrong to try to destroy those two Scottish airports. Bid Laden, Zarqawi, Zarqawi, Zahiri, and they're all, they are and were wrong. If you read Quran 9, 135 and Quran 9, 29, you will see why it needs footnotes in, a, in big red letters to let the, to let the would-be jihadist realize they're taken out of context, true? Uh, oh, this advice is, all, is, is for all humanity. This, that, 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 that's right, that's right. Because anyone of humanity can become a Muslim and start reading the Quran in the wrong context thanks to no footnotes being present, right? And, and, this, and, this is what, and this is that you may fight in self-defense. But, but again, if you read Quran 9, 1 through 5, and Quran 9, 29, there are no, footnote, there are no footnotes for what you are saying. Leading the Muslim to think it's perfectly fine to be free from treaty obligation, breaking treaties that is, rising up and killing pagans, quote, lusty following the ways of their forefathers, and quote, till they feel themselves subdued and end up becoming Muslims themselves, completely abrogating, quote, to, your, to you your religion, to me mine, and, quote, no compulsion in religion. And if your life is in danger, you may use violence to protect yourself or family from harm. Right. But notice that in Quran 9, 1 through 5, it's killing those who are just, quote, lusty, following the ways of their forefathers, unquote, is all. And there are no footnotes present to keep a Muslim from developing a violent, quote, us, a violent us versus them alienation for, uh, toward pagans due to such a lack of footnotes to keep from forming a mental outlook like the 45 British Islamic medical doctors apparently did when they tried to set up bombs at the Scottish airports. Quote, as a last resort, the Quran also says, do not transgress the limits of war, meaning do not kill the women and the children, innocent, non-combatants, etc. I, I understand that. But little Muslims are good Muslims. That, that's right. That's right. A Muslim is considered a good Muslim until he performs an honor killing or flies a plane into a building. Then he's considered the one who, who hijacked Islam, even though his face is held up in portrait form to show he's a hero for slaying infidels, dying a martyr. You do realize 
that even though Muslims blame 9-11 on the U.S. government and Israel, many were cheering in the streets and made Bin Laden a hero. You do realize that, don't you? Quote, many other religions follow Allah fighting. Hinduism might even have more verses about killing others than the Quran. Check out Dr. Zakir Naik, Naik and his lectures on jihad for further details and references. I'm not saying Hindus are bad people. I, you know, I'm sure other faiths do have killing verses in them. But what Bible or Hindu verse or even Buddhist verse tells the faithful to break treaties? Well, to be, quote, freedom from obligation with peace treaties. Rising up and slaying those who don't believe like you after forbidden months. Until they feel themselves a dude, pay high taxes, the jizya, or, con or convert and present such a violent, alienated us versus them reality without the footnotes that you're talking about to keep Judaism, or keep, to keep jihadism down like your video showed. <laughs> 